So there's still a lot of overlap between our universe's ontology and the ontology in the universe of Stranger Things. So there's an overlap between stuff like um, Sunflowers, the state of Kansas, and that Jimmy Carter is the 39th president of the United States. Uh, and there's overlap with things like bullies suck in both universes and older sisters care about their younger brothers. These are things that we find in the ontology of our universe and the ontology of the Stranger Things universe. So just like we saw with the X-Files, there are some things that do exist in uh, our universe, or do populate our universe's ontology, but that do not populate the Stranger Things ontology. And that's stuff like you and me and this class. So what are some of the things that populate the Stranger Things ontology, but that don't populate our universe's ontology? Even if you haven't seen the show, you can probably guess what some of those things are. So um, just think of a few things that do exist in the Stranger Things universe, but don't exist in our universe. You could have said a couple things here. So you could say the Demogorgon. Um, you could give us any of the characters who are in the Stranger Things. They just exist in Stranger Things. They don't exist in our universe. Um, you could talk about this science conspiracy that is, you know, maybe related to the government where they steal children and they run uh, supernatural experiments on them. So, uh, you know, say what you will about things that our government has done. I don't think that they've kidnapped children to run supernatural experiments in another realm on them. Um, again, conjecture, but I do kind of think that that's the case. So those are some things that do exist in the Stranger Things universe, but that don't exist in our universe. Uh, what's really interesting about Stranger Things is that they enter this totally different realm, we think, called the Upside Down, uh, and there's totally different metaphysics there. Not totally different, there's still things like, um, you know, if you hit a ball, it will move. So some things like causation still seem to work, uh, at least as far as we can tell, the same way in the Stranger Things universe in both realms as they do in our universe. But there's definitely some really weird, really interesting metaphysical stuff happening in Stranger Things that doesn't happen in our universe. Um, it's really mysterious still, and hopefully in watching Season 3, we'll get a few more answers about what's going on with the metaphysics of the Upside Down. So that's something that if you watch Stranger Things, you can uh, keep an eye out for in the next season. So now we're going to move away from Stranger Things and we're going to go to Game of Thrones. So here again, um, we're going to be paying attention to what the ontology is in Game of Thrones and how that differs from the ontology of our universe. So this clip is taken from the most recent episode. Um, it is not a spoiler. It happens in the first like three minutes, but if you don't want to see it, that's totally cool. Um, mute your computer and you should turn off the brightness for like two minutes. Not more than two minutes. I think the clip is a minute and 30 seconds. Um, so go ahead and do that if you just really don't want to spoil anything for yourself from Game of Thrones. And I promise we're not going to talk about or reveal in our discussion afterwards what is in this clip. <laughs> 